Hello and welcome to Marketing Edge on TV, Nigeria's leading initiative in the business of brand management. A 30 minutes show that features brand news, branding focus, industry interviews, conversations, all in the mix to promote the brand idea, home and abroad. Welcome. It appears that the Outdoor Advertising Association of Nigeria, OAAN, may have finally thrown in its corporate weight towards finding a lasting solution to the protracted controversies surrounding signage and outdoor advertising regulatory mechanism in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. Giving answers to inquiries on industry issues recently, OAAN's president, Emmanuel Najufo, hinted that the association's leadership was currently having discussions with the directorate in charge of signage and advertising departments in the FCT. According to OAAN's boss, an agreement that will see to the end of regulatory controversies is soon to be entered into between concerned parties. He adds that if both parties worked in accordance with the agreement soon to be endorsed, it was certain that relative peace will return to the FTC, FCT regarding regulation in the industry. Bringing innovative ideas into modern day marketing practice was a central theme of discussions at the maiden edition of the annual Masterclass Business Forum organized by Frontline Marketing Company, GDM Group. The one day seminar, which held at the prestigious Eco Innovative Center situated on Awolo Road, Ikoi, Lagos, was part of the commemorative activities marking 10th year anniversary of the marketing firm. It was a convergence of the who is who in marketing, with attendance quoting across notable personalities and stakeholders in Nigeria's marketing and marketing communications industry sphere. Speaking on the business theme, raising the bar, founder and CEO of the group, Benga Victor Folabi, highlighted the historical background leading to the birth of the marketing firm, which commenced operations exactly one decade ago. Pepsi is throwing some shade at rival soda brand Coca-Cola in its Super Bow advertisement. In the ad, which highlights the newly relaunched Pepsi Zero Sugar, Missy Elliott and H.E. Her performance are uh, a cover of the Rolling Stone painted black. The ad is also produced by Timberland with choreography from Shin Bankhead. Now, when the ad opens, H.E.R. stands in a crowd of people clad in red against the backdrop featuring Coca-Cola's famous wave symbol holding a can that's saying cola in Coca-Cola's signature typeface. He sings about wanting to paint a red door black and the can in her hands transforms into a can of Pepsi Zero Sugar. From there, the red backdrop fades away into a world of black, which the brand calls an energetic pace or place of bold, unapologetic form. Renowned economist and chief executive officer, Financial Derivatives Limited, Bismarck Rewani, has charged public relations consultants in the country on the need to create the right and positive economic climate that is conducive enough so as to attract the much desired foreign direct investments into the country. Addressing participants at a one day business enlightenment forum recently organized by the public relations consultants of Nigeria, Rewani observed that in order to attract FDIs into the country, PR consultants needed to position themselves all right uh, through creating positive economic climate capable of attracting investors. Seriwani adds that uh, government and other relevant agencies also need to create a more conducive environment that will attract FDIs into the country. Keeping to its tradition of rewarding long-standing partnership, NTN Nigeria recently held its annual sales conference, starting with a forum on January 26, 2019, accumulating in an award ceremony on January 28, 2020. Now, the award ceremony, which took place in Lagos, played host to MTN's business partners from across Nigeria as well as top executives of the company. The gala and awards night was an evening full of glamour and entertainment with the Nigerian music legend, Innocent Dibia, popularly called Tubaba, thrilling the guests with his evergreen melodies. Speaking at the ceremony, Chief Operating Officer MTN Nigeria, Mazin Maru, said MTN is committed to ensuring that its trade partners have all the support needed to achieve their personal and corporate targets. 
First Bank of Nigeria Limited has reiterated its commitment to driving growth and building the capacity of small, medium-sized enterprises in the country. And I'm speaking at the First Bank SME's Connect Business Clinic held in Lagos recently. The group head, Lagos Island One, First Bank of Nigeria, Olufunke Smith, stated that the business clinic provides an opportunity for SMEs to understand how to develop their business plans and run their businesses. It is one of the key initiatives that the bank has put in place to drive development of SMEs. She further noted that the bank's SMEs proposition is based on seven pillars that would connect SMEs to capacity building markets, infrastructure talent for business development, policy and regulation, finance and resources. Decision makers across public and private sector organizations in Nigerian economy have been advised on the need to show greater understanding to the imperatives of data development as a vital tool to driving growth of their businesses. Chairman of the National Economic Advisory Council, Louis Salami, said that this while delivering a keynote address during a one-day business development summit organized by Redwood Consulting, a frontline marketing solutions company. Speaking on the summit theme, that's the power of consumer data. Salami observed that one major challenge confronting most public and private organizations in the country is the apparent lack of interest and understanding of the data tool as a guard to the growth of businesses. Victor Oriteddy, head of sales at Flower Mills of Nigeria PLC, has announced his exit from the organization after a near three years' meritorious service to the organization. Uri Teddy, who served his foray in the company, began in October 2018 when he signed on as head of sales agri inputs, who saddled with the responsibility of developing the backward integration strategy for FMN Group, using the contract farming and extension services business models, as well as developing a business model that will enable direct purchase from farmers and farmer markets at the minimum of 10% less merchant prices. Announcing his exit via a LinkedIn post, Uri Teddy states, and I quote, it's time for me to move to the next challenge. I look back to the almost three years spent at the FMN group and I feel proud. I hold there the relationship and friendship have built within the period. End of quote. UK ant spend rose 5.6% year on year to reach 5.97 billion euros in quarter three 2019, marking the UK advertising industry's 25th consecutive quarter of market growth. The figures was published on a day that the Advertising Association Lead Summit for the UK art industry took place in central London. The latest data revealed that growth in the third quarter of 2019 was 0.8 percentage points ahead of forecast. Looking ahead to the full year figures for 2019, UK art spend is forecast to reach 24.8 billion euros. This is expected to rise a further 5.2% in 2020 to reach 26.1 billion euros. Next is Branding Focus. Creating groundbreaking campaigns and content in today's complex media market starts with understanding an audience, who they are, what they like, and how they interact with content everywhere. What's more, uh, the ongoing evolution is to create a differentiated audience segment uh, that could include media consumption data along with demographics, behavioral, transactional, attitudinal, and lifestyle-based segments. As people constantly modify what media they consume, how they consume it, and when they consume it. 
the methods advertisers use to identify and track their audiences are also changing in order to keep pace. To get the best for the advertising spend, marketers are focused on how to plan, activate and measure their content and ads in the new media landscape. Marketers and their agencies more than ever before also need to see the total exposure of their campaigns across all media approaches. However, there has been heated debate across the board in Nigeria's integrated marketing communications industry on the accuracy of audience measurement that commensurate ad spend. Globally, the accurate measurement of audiences is absolutely critical in modern integrated market communications. While different media produce different types of audience statistics, different measures give marketers different insights into audience behavior and impact of particular media messages or campaigns on individuals or groups. Their return on investments in media advertising and in any integrated communications approach will depend very much on an understanding of the potential and limitations of measurements. Recently, the Outdoor Advertising Association of Nigeria disclosed its working assiduously towards ensuring that the industry's wide audience measurement research efforts initiated by the association in 2019 is brought to a logical conclusion. The association said there was no going back on the research efforts, which presently is in its first stage, stressing hopefully it is expected that the process will reach completion before the end of the first quarter of business, the year 2020. Well, next is the interview segment on Marketing Edge. We spoke to the Chief Executive Officer of and Founder of Extreme Ideas, Steve Babaiko. <laughs> They don't use codes. Which code? <laughs> oh boy, no don't get for market to, to get better. Oh. 888, now even the code, yo. <laughs> Have you? Yes, so oh. anytime you recharge with star, it is that big hash. MTN will summer you with five times your recharge. Make you take one up. Better a wolf. All right, welcome to the interview segment of Marketing Edge on TV. Today I have a special guest. He is Mr. Steve Babaiko. He's the Chief Executive Officer of Extreme Ideas Limited. It's a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you very much you so for much. your time. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm going to start with the creative business. How would you assess it in Nigeria at this time? Well, it's, it's uh, a mixed bag of the bitter, sweet, and the ugly. I'll start with maybe the sweet. The sweet is that uh, I think... This is the moment in my lifetime where I see many young people uh, dabble into that creative entrepreneurship space. And because of the whole expansion of the digital age and the digital platform, a lot of people who have latent creative talents are able to jump on the platform and express themselves and in that same, by the same token also do business. Okay, that's the sweet part. The bitter part is that it's becoming like in what fight now because I mean lack of regulation, we really don't know who is in charge of what who I mean a whole lot of lowering of the bar so anybody can just pick up and do anything especially as it affects the advertising industry so that's the bad and it's even compounded by the lack of uh, a council for APCON over the past four going on five years now so regulation has been working in that space and uh, it makes it to the really ugly so, but by and large, I still think it's an interesting time, a huge opportunity uh, there for young people who really, really want to dabble into that space and, and make a living out of it. So, what would the other be some achievements in that sector? Absolutely, absolutely. I can mean, we, can we identify some of them? I mean, if you uh, if you are a big fan of uh, some of the online comedians like I am, you see that it's a huge, huge thing going on there 
from the Tawumas to the Woli Agbas to the Woli Awele to the Brother Shaggy to Lassie Selen. I mean, there's massive explosion of talent. And you can see that beyond even the comedy, it's just the ability of people to write and express uh, concept and be able to push the idea of a story from beginning to the end in, in such an engaging way. And don't forget that there's just very little 